Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and I promise you, this is going to be the last Electric Dreams video I am going to make in this hour. But what you're looking at right now is a packaged Electric Dreams demo with DLSS 3. Now, if you want to try this out, check the link in the comments and in the description below. Unfortunately, it is 13 gigabytes so I couldn't give it away for free. All right, there is a limit on what f you can give for free on ArtStation. So unfortunately, I just don't have the bandwidth to give away 13 gigs of downloads. So if you want to follow along or benchmark your own system, go check it out. Um, you can download it, whatever. So first things first, I added the controls on the left. So we have J, DLSS turned on. K, ultra performance, performance balance quality, and then O is going to be DLSS on with 100% screen percentage. P is going to be DLSS off. Additionally, if you press F10, I got the st stylized uh, blueprint here. The only thing that works is the settings, so don't even bother with the audios or controls or anything like that. I have it set to full screen, 4K. I'm going to set this to enabled. I am also recording this using the same computer 4k av1 all right we have this set right now at epic games and by the way just a disclaimer i'm not going to be responsible for any burnt gpu if you ever decide to try this out at home all right so here we are we are running this right now at native i'll slow down the camera so we're running this right now at native speed again this is a package game i know i live stream this kind of live in editor and the it's hardware ray trace too so it's kind of in case you were wondering so this looks good and the rtx one rtx 4090 is not doing too bad it's handling it pretty well but now we will enter the dlss on so it's gonna pause for a second so now we're getting about 68 frames per second the fps on the right side what you're seeing in the green is the native with no dlss on msi afterburner is showing the correct um frame rate so here we go we just switched it on we didn't do anything yet and you know we're getting 65 frames per second now we have that nice substrate opal material i left everything on i just really just put dlss3 on and then added those commands to change the settings but that is all we did. I didn't change the lighting. This is by the default. Okay. This this is just absolutely... I mean, it's so hard for me to just say that. You're going to have to test it yourself. All right. Let's press K. This is going to do ultra performance at 4K. And this is an epic settings. Getting about 100 frames per second right now. And again, like I said yesterday, we're going to get more FPS because this is a packaged uh, EXE. All right. And this looks absolutely fantastic. And I want to do this where there's a lot of trees and foliage because like I've mentioned before, whenever you had ultra performance, you're going to start seeing the difference in the trees and the grass. That's from my experience that I've been using the LSS3. But... From an untrained eye, you probably didn't even, you know, see the difference. Because it still looks good while maintaining that frames per second. And like I mentioned before, DLSS 3 is not only giving you frames per second back. It is maintaining a really good quality while giving you the frames per second back. And that's why I think it's much be better than just your typical upscaler. Right? All right, so that's ultra performance, and L is going to be our performance. All right. Again, what I'm seeing here, the leaves, the trees starts to get crisper. All right, and right there in the middle, that is a fog card. So that little hazy thing, um, I'm pretty sure that's a fog card. So that's not nothing wrong with the graphics or anything. So this is performance now at 85 frames per second at epic setting incredible 
I know I keep saying this, but Quixel folks did an amazing job with this environment here. All right? So let's go to you. You is going to be balanced. This is my favorite setting because I feel like it's the perfect balance. That's so cheesy. It, it's just the perfect sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like the uh, the spot. Ninety one frames per second, forty ninety is barely sweating this environment right here. Now, just to remind you, this is like 1.2 billion triangles in this area. It's pretty massive. I, I don't know what that was all about. Maybe there's a volume there that made me teleport or something. But 101 in balance. Now, let's switch it to I. 75. And now the textures are going to get sharper just a tad. All right, so here's you. All right, if you look at the rocks here on both left and right side, and again, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to see this. If I switch to quality, it's it's just sharper right now. I'm looking at it on my 4K monitor. It's sharper. And we're still maintaining that 86, 85 frames per second. And I am controlling controlling this live. Now, obviously, we're still getting those shadow flickers. I believe that's virtual shadow maps, uh, Lumen and stuff like that. Uh, let me know if it's not, and let me know if you know how to get rid of it. I thought I, I, I thought I was able to get rid of that before, but I just do not remember how I did it. <laughs> I didn't write it down. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. All right. So I think we went with ultra performance, performance, balanced quality, and O is going to be DLSS on with 100% screen percentage. Now, unfortunately, that changes the lighting as well, as you saw right there. But I'm going to go ahead and flip it on, and you're going to see that our, our frames per second drop to 53 frames per second. All right. But if you just toggle it on and off, it should take it back to the light. And you're going to see that our frames per second is low, low, like apple bottom jeans. And man, I love the water reflections in this one. It's just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. All right, so on the right side, you see that we have... 27 frames per second native without any DLSS on. Again, this is 100% with DLSS on at Epic settings. Okay. So, I'm going to turn my corner right here. Now, we're going to go the other way. And now, I am getting cold. Let's turn up the heat. Just look at that. That is some Disney Lion King. Like, I can see a little tiger or lion singing songs just right there. Something about, you know, I don't know, something song. All right. Let's start with uh, K. Let's go back to, actually, no, let's start with you. I'm not going to go with the ultra performance performance. We, we already get it that you're going to get good FPS there. But let's go with balance, quality, and then O, which is 100%. So now we are at quality right now with you. Okay, now I'm like second guessing myself. I need to like, I'll go to settings and let's turn this up to ultra. If you downloaded this demo, and if you have an RTX 4090, and you're looking at the same exact screen that I'm looking at right now, this shot is the most photorealistic thing I have ever seen in Unreal Engine 5 with Lumen. 
And for me to run this at cinematic settings, quality settings, or balance settings at 48 frames per second, that's insane. Because now, again, it makes you wonder, what's 5090 going to look like? RTX 5090 when that comes out. So, that's balance. Let's try quality. Now I dropped, I don't know, six frames. And let's kind of walk around here. Now, native without DLSS, this RTX 4090 is running 20 frames per second. 20 frames per second without DLSS. But if you're noticing, again, we are doubling that FPS, but still maintaining the fidelity of the image. It's just, just beautiful, man. Folks, this is not a pre-rendered movie you're watching. This is real time. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to go with, oh, now. This is 100%. I have not tested this before. But let's do it. 26 frames per second. And this is at 100%. And this is the limit of this GPU right now. I'm going to try to move, but I'm not sure how choppy this is going to be. Cinematic settings, 4K. Man. With the 5090, whenever that comes out, if ever it comes out, will we get double of this? What do we get? 50 frames per second at 100% screen percentage with the LSS3? It makes you wonder, right? All right, I'm going to switch it over to uh, uh, balance, uh, balance, I think, yeah. So that, we, no, this is quality, sorry, quality. Yeah, I think there's like a, yeah, there's definitely like some type of trigger volume in there that that teleports you. So right now, native-wise, I'm getting 16. Okay, it's not letting me go back that way. That's pretty much it for this demonstration of DLSS 3. Again, if you want to try it out, go check out the link. It's 13 gigs. I'm not responsible for your GPU getting fried. That's my disclaimer. If you make a video about it, you know, just give Quixel props, DLSS 3 props that's in video. But my goodness, wow. This is some pretty exciting stuff.